I've always been fascinated by the roulette, so I thought why not test it with AI. I looked at different strategies, ran simulations, and trained a cool machine learning model. Let me show you. In games like poker, you can have a strategy or you can bluff, hoping that no one notices you're bluffing. But then we have the roulette, where every event or spin is completely independent. So is it possible to find a pattern or even guess the sequence of numbers? Well, let's focus on online roulettes. Usually you have two main flavors, the fully digital version or the real live stream version where you watch an actual wheel spin. And since the digital roulette is software driven, it likely uses a built-in function to generate these random numbers. But here's the thing, these are often pseudo random number generators, creating sequences that only seem random like this Python function. Usually these type of algorithms have a secret ingredient, the seed, which is the starting point and determines the entire sequence of numbers. Let me show you. I wrote this simple function to generate a list of random numbers. If we run the function without passing a seed, the sequence will change on every execution, as it is using some information like date time from the system to automatically set the seed value. But here's where it gets interesting. If we pass a seed value to the function, the sequence will always be the same, no matter how many times we execute this function. And now the million dollar question, can we crack the code of a digital roulette's number sequence? Well, theoretically, yes. However, practically speaking, the likelihood of guessing the seed and algorithm use is extremely low. But stay with me. So reverse engineering the number sequence is a bit of a stretch. So time for plan B. Okay, I'll keep it short. I decided to write some code to simulate the final profit of different roulette strategies. It's not rocket science, the odds lean heavily against you. Regardless of the strategy, you will likely end up losing money over time. Especially if you exponentially increase your bets every time you lose. Let's look at things from a different angle. Here's where we might get an edge. Again, analyzing these from a theoretical standpoint, I decided to build a proof of concept. So I trained a machine learning model and added additional layers of computer vision power. I did the labeling process manually and used YOLO version 8 as the base model to train the object detector. It was time consuming, but nothing too crazy. The object detector solves a little piece of the problem. We can now detect the ball as it moves. Then I had to find a way to parse the numbers on the roulette. Using optical character recognition is probably a valid suggestion. However, as soon as the wheel starts spinning, the OCR is practically useless. So I had a different idea. I decided to use the edge used by casinos in my favor, the zero. This is the only green slot in the whole wheel, at least for the European version. So I used OpenCV to get the green value, set a fixed point, and generate the rest of the numbers. Next to the 0 on the right side, we have the 32 followed by the 15 and so on. Then combined with the center of the roulette as the axis point, we can see the numbers even if the roulette is spinning. Lastly, I added a function to trace the ball's position over time. And yes, I know this doesn't prove anything. I'm only using a video to test the idea. And the code is definitely far from perfect. However, being able to extract the position of the ball as it moves and the numbers as the wheel spins might open the door to get additional data points like acceleration and perhaps additional trajectory details. I think the next step would be to buy a real roulette, spin it a bunch of times, collect data, train another model and keep testing it. Even if I'm able to predict potentially an area as opposed to the exact number, it would be a big win, uh, theoretically speaking. Okay, I gotta go now.